Hey there, this is Brad Miller from Cartuzo, and today we're talking about Google's conversational search and whether or not it's really as good as they say it is. But before we get started, I want to remind you that you can check us out at Cartuzo.com for more information about internet marketing online. Okay, so back to Google's conversational search. Is it really as good as they say it is? Well, the answer is yes. Google's new conversational search really is good, super cool, and best of all, effective. More than that, it's going to further influence how we promote ourselves online. Last week at their conference, Google gave a demonstration of their conversational search functions, very clear additions to the Google search engine, which focuses on semantic search and natural language. First, there's the spoken search option. If you use Chrome and if you have the newest version, you'll see the tiny microphone in the corner of the search box. Click on it and you can speak your search. Now this won't be new to most of you, especially Android users. Samsung Galaxy users have had this function for a while now because Google released it a couple years back. The new feature is really fun though and it adds a natural feel to conversational search. Now, Google has a voice too and it will speak you the answer to your search query. Just try it. We asked a range of questions just to try this out. We asked about the weather, the time, the date. We even asked who Sheldon Cooper is. We told it we wanted to buy a new Audi and order a pizza. When you speak your query, your search words appear in the search box. Google accesses the knowledge graph to give you a direct answer in addition to the most relevant links. We got answers for every query we set. I mean, of course, it's Google after all. This latest step in conversational search didn't disappoint us. It works beautifully. Don't you just love and hate Google all at the same time? There's far more to it than groovy speaking search engines, though. Now we can actually have a conversation with Google by asking additional questions. For example, narrowing our results by adding more search strings. Now that's impressive. Here's the example that we came up with. Go to Big Bang Theory and ask, who is Sheldon Cooper? Follow that by asking, what is the actor's name? How tall is he? And finally, where does he live? Now, Google is clever enough to know who the he is in the search. It's very clever, but still, not that new either. Google started a previous query function around five years ago. Making it a part of the whole voice search adds to the natural language feel of the search and it's much quicker and smoother than early attempts. The search engine really understands what you're looking for and what you mean. So, in terms of SEO, what do all of these dazzling bells and whistles mean for us? Will it have any effect on rankings and search results? You bet it will. Yes, we're back on the topic of content again. The sites which come up in search results will be the ones which answer the questions that people pose. Think about it. Not so long ago, if you wanted to say, order a birthday cake, you'd most likely type in birthday cake delivery in your location. In return, you'd get a page of the highest ranking bakeries who deliver, some of which who may or may not have been in your geographical area. Now, with conversational search, you can ask, who can deliver a birthday cake to me? Google knows whose you are and where, so the search engine is going to pick up not the highest ranked bakery, but the highest ranked bakery which answers your question. This is going to make a whole world of difference in how search engines work and on the results it throws up. The aspect we need to take note of is the authoring and tagging of our content. Whereas before the focus was always on the product or service and keywords, now the content should answer our customer's questions. Content which does more than sell and get noticed. Linking yourself to Google Maps, authoring all of your content, adding descriptions of what you do which read like the answers to questions. Your content is going to have to say who you are, where you are, and provide details of every aspect a customer may inquire about. The reason why is simple. Google will give the searcher answers based upon who they are and where they are and what they're looking for. Get it? Don't miss out on potential sales because Google doesn't know where you are or what you do. 
While at first this may sound fairly simple, if you think about it, for many sites this may involve a massive amount of content refreshing. However, it would be worth it if it means the difference between popping up as an answer to someone's question or remaining invisible somewhere further down the queue. Conversational search is far from being perfect yet, but it's so close. It struggles with accents, as we're sure that you'll discover, and sometimes it takes some tweaking to get your questions and search strings right. But as with everything, Google will keep working on it and improving it day by day. Still, it works more often than not, and it's seriously impressive. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and remember, you can check us out at Cartuzo.com. My name's Brad Miller, and I'll see you next time.